Hey guys, welcome to Split. Today we're gonna rant about the PS Portal. Maybe a little bit about the PS Pulse Explore or something like that. Let's get into it. Get that out of here. This is not a review, it's a rant. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm ranting, right? A friend of mine, and he shall, will leave his name out for his own security, went out to buy a game for his loving child. He's like, yo, I hear this PS Portal thing is new. I'm gonna hook one up. He pre-ordered everything, got it. And now he's giving it to his son. And son's like, great. That means you're gonna buy me a PS5, right? And he's like, what are you talking about? The moral of the story is the PS Portal is a device, if you've never heard of it, think about a dual sense controller that's been cut in half and they put it in between an eight inch LCD screen. It's a really nice looking piece of hardware. Mwah, beautiful. Has all the haptics, vibrates just like a pad, but with a screen. And you would wish it was a PlayStation portal, like a portable, but no, it's literally a portal. This thing only allows you connect to your existing PS5, meaning if you don't own this PS5, it's useless. I mean, useless. You cannot save anything on it. It doesn't process anything when it's not connected to the PS5. Nothing, it can't do anything, nothing. So it's a mirror for remote play. That's it, full stop, boom. Why, $200, does nothing. Okay, fine, it's a decent price point for the hardware, but I think you could afford to do a bit more, you know, some sort of access cloud gaming separately other than through your PS5, because if you already own a PS5, I'm not sure the use case for this. Fine, you might have one television at home and everybody uses that television you want to play in your basement. There are arguments for and against. One, the internet has to be good, very good for it to work. In the samples I've seen my friends try, if you live anywhere with averagely spotty internet, you're never gonna use it. You're not gonna get any good um, experience while playing it. Um, what else? If you have a cell phone, buy a backbone or something to get close to that form factor and boom, you're good. You can do remote play with pretty much any good cell phone these days. You're, and you probably already have one. Uh, you won't have the haptics of the DualSense controller, but meh, you can achieve remote play without that device. That's two. Okay, fine. Let's say you can afford this. Gaming on a handheld device requires some privacy. So you need headphones, right? Connect your Bluetooth headphones to it? No, Sony said no. We're gonna create our own codec. So they have their own unique codec that enhances lag, reduces it, enhances the quality of the game. But still, it's not fair because now you can only connect to their own Pulse Explorer earbuds. So you gotta go out and pay another 200 bucks, 400 bucks total for, for something you can only use with your PS5. Okay, to be fair, you can use the Pulse Explorer with other devices, cell phones at all. It does support Bluetooth, but you can't connect anything else, no other thing you own, not even your old Sony he headphones or earbuds, your XM5s, none of that will connect. You gotta buy that Pulse Explorer or anything with the new codec to connect to this device that only connects to your PS5 over good Wi-Fi. Come on, guys. I get the whole reason for ecosystems. I buy one, I use another, but I think value has to be shown for every component in the ecosystem, even when it stands alone. Think about it, whether it's Apple or Android, I don't care. So guys, just get your act together, man. It's just not fair. So that, and that's it, that's my rant. Let me know what you guys think about the PlayStation Portal in, in, in the comments below. If I get one for Christmas, I'm taking it because I have a PS5. Uh, but still, it's, 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 it's odd. I don't, I don't see, in fact, someone asked me in the comments if the goggles, what they call the X-Real Air was worth it. Versus this, I would probably take that because that I can use on my PlayStation Actual and I can use it on any other device and I can use it anywhere I want without being worried about being tied back to the internet or one singular device. And that's what I talk about use case of a device. I could be wrong. I could just be ranting. I just, I think I'm hungry. Mm. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Peace.